Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Hi, right, welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Madden Money Shot, bringing you another Madden 18 Mud update. I haven't really done an update on my team in a while. Uh, I just just got them over an 80. Uh, I can't say I've been putting the most time into this. I've actually been splitting time. I have an account on here on my PlayStation, and an account on my Xbox. Uh, that plus I sell coins through my Patreon. I sell coins through my Facebook. Um, so I think an 80 overall team, considering how much how far spread out my time is, is actually pretty good. I think on on Xbox, I think like an 81, uh, which you know. Uh, I haven't really touched my Xbox in a while to be honest with you. I'm kind of just trying to stick to PlayStation But either way uh, this here is my team I'll go over it real quick just to show you what I've been working with what I've been dealing with I'm like I said I'm trying to get up a little bit higher so I can play some draft sal or some salary mode Which is my favorite mode. I think it's the most fair and competitive uh, But basically uh, my running back Todd Gurley. I went a little bit extra on him uh, my favorite, I mean, there's a lot of really good running backs in this game, but for a good price, he's, he's pretty decent. Uh, Terrell Pryor, one of my favorite, the only leader, uh, team leader that I've, that I've completed. Uh, and basically, I don't know if they're really worth the price. I think you can do better off just kind of, you know, sniping coins and saving up. On the defensive side, you know I typically go heavy here. This is where you're going to see um, some prices. I really got to get a better free safety. Eric Reed is a good, strong safety, but he's the best I got right now. Then I go to my linebackers. I really like Jabal Shear, a great run stopper. Uh, Ray Lewis was my legend, uh, my GOAT legend. And then I also got uh, Deion Jones. I'm trying to work him up. I also got an 80 overall Deion Jones, or an 81. I'm not sure, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tear him up slowly. Uh, Aaron Donald was was my uh, another the other guy that I picked, the uh, core elite that I got for free. Haloti Nada I uh, got on the cheap a little bit. Uh, Marshawn Lattimore was the guy I completed last year, uh, my rookie premier card that I completed last year. Basically, what I want to do in this video, aside from keep you up to date on my team was uh, show you some some methods for coins um, that not a lot of people are doing. Uh, so really, because I don't have a lot of time to be sitting on here sniping nonstop between uh, making videos, um, you know, playing games, everything that I do that goes in and run this YouTube channel. So I need methods that are quick and get coins fast. And I know I don't have a lot of coins right now because like I said, I just went on a little bit of a spending spree. Had a couple hundred thousand. Um, but other than that, um, you know, these are some really good methods. One of the first methods I'm going to show you is something I already did a video about, but it's still really effective. Uh, I'm going to try to do a live here in a minute, but I'm basically going to go to my auctions real quick, and I'm going to show you uh, basically everything I have up for auction right now. I got about eight playbooks up for auction right now, which is got these are all playbooks. Some of these I got for as low as a thousand coins uh, that I'm putting up for bid, and you can see the values of them. If they all sell around the price um, that I have them selling right now, I could easily get another 30,000, 40,000 added to what I'm doing now. Um, those are ones I actually bought yesterday, so now I'm going to go to the auction house and see if I can pick some up uh, on the cheap. Um, as you can see, I actually still have the, the filter set um, from Jabal Shear who I just picked up. So let's go ahead and let's um, get this reset. So my most consistent method is definitely playbooks. You can really find some uh, good playbooks and sell them over uh, cheap. But like I said, I already made a video about it, so I'm not going to put too much time into it. But right here alone, I mean, I could buy that uh, Bengals offense and probably sell for close to six, but that's not really the margin that I want. I think it's, that's kind of a risky buy. Um, right here, I could go with this Bills defense, sell for close to five. Um, all you're really doing is marking up a grand. That's not really the profit margin that I want, so I'm just going to pass that by. But this is definitely right here. Look at that bang. We get the Broncos defense for 250 coins. Um, I think it was, I didn't get the look, but it was got to be selling for like four to five. So this is, like I said, this is still the most consistent method um, that not a lot of people really do. Um, not a lot of people really take into account. I'm going to go ahead and sell it for 4700 4, let's say. I didn't really get to see what they're selling for. But that's something that no matter what I do, when I sell it, I'm going to be making a profit. Look, they also sold this. The same guy probably sold the offense now. So I'm going to get that too. And I'm going to sell that. I think that was going for 3700 So I'm going to sell it for 3600 And, you know, the second these books sell, I mean, bang, with those two alone, I'll probably make like 7000 How many solos or um, how long do you have to spend sniping? I just picked those up by accident while doing a monologue on this video. Um, so like I said, if you didn't see that video, I'll pop a link to that. But it's real simple. All I'm really doing is going buy now price, playbooks, and then going team to team. And it's really just a little bit of luck um, that it falls in your lap the same way that it just did me. But it's really not that hard. I want to make it sound like it's that difficult because obviously it's not. So here's another one. I could buy the Bucks playbook here and sell it and just mark it up a grand. That's not a huge profit margin. I'm not too interested in that. 
um, because it is a little bit of a risk. You got to hold on to it and hope that the prices don't drop by the time you sell it. So I'm really looking for those, like I just got, like $200 playbooks, which you'll find. You know what I mean? You just saw me do it. This isn't staged by any means. Um, but that's one method. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go through these real quick, see if I can find any more. I'll just make one. Look at that. Boom. Colts offense and defense right there. I probably won't get them both. Um, I'm going to try to back out and get them real quick. Uh, like I said, this is definitely the way to go. Oh, it's right there. It's right there. Look at this. It's, it's past five minutes. Like, people haven't noticed <laughs> five minutes. That's how that's how little people are doing this, that these books can fall to you. And I didn't, I didn't bid them because I want to bid them closer to the price. But they're both selling for about four to five. So I just got them for 500. I'll make 10,000. You know what I mean? It's that simple. Um, and like I said, these are methods that not enough people are doing. If a lot of people were on this, I wouldn't be able to snatch these that easy. So, like I said, I'm going to keep going through here. I might fast forward to the next method in the video. Uh, but for now, uh, I'm just trying to, to make as much as I can and get some, get some highlights for you. Two teams that never really, I could just skip over entirely, are probably the Giants and the 49ers uh, and the Cowboys. Their playbooks just never really seem to make any money. Um, you know, they're always low. They're always on the low end selling. So it doesn't even matter if you get them cheap. They don't really make a lot for you. Uh, those are three playbooks I could just about skip past. Um, every other play, the lines are pretty stink too. Let's say I'm, I'm going on them right now. They're pretty bad too. I mean, you get to know which ones really uh, you can find good deals on and which ones are selling kind of high for the most part. But um, those are definitely the three that are the worst. There's another team that just dropped uh, Patriots hybrid defense. I'll buy that up because I can sell that for five five. I can make about two grand on that. Obviously not as good of a deal as I just saw, but uh, this is definitely the way to go. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna take that and we're gonna mark that up. That I should have enough patience to sell that for at least over five, getting it for a little. What was I around around three? So we'll sell it for five four. Um, there's one book that's lower price, but I'll just take it on account that um, somebody will buy that out, and then my book will be the lowest price. Um, you know, I'm not going to go that low, but I'm definitely going to set the bar a little bit high there. All right, so there you have it. I went through every playbook, 32 teams. Uh, I spent about a thousand coins, and I'm going to probably make back like 20,000 coins whenever I sell those four playbooks that I picked up. So it's that simple. I've spent about five minutes. I don't have time to go. You know, if I really wanted to, I could snipe all day, get up to a million coins. I don't have time for that. It's not really <laughs> what I have time for. I, I, I run a YouTube channel and a lot of other stuff. So that's one of the quicker methods. Another method that I really like and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna set this back to all real quick um, is going through a, a kind of similar concept go through coaches now coaches are another one I'm gonna go to buy now price coaches are another one where a lot of times you can find cheap guys now typically if I go through all sometimes you'll find some like yesterday I found a Pete Carroll for a hundred a uh, hundred buy now um, and you can sell him for like a couple thousand. So this one here is probably you don't have to go through team by team the same way. You can a lot of times just go through all teams at once. Another good one is stadiums uh, that people really don't think about. Um, this one here, I mean, you got the Steelers right here it's looking pretty cheap. So I'm not sure. Like this next one here is about four thousand. So let's go over the Steelers real quick. I mean, this is another one. I, if I really wanted to, I would go team by team. You can see here that's not a great margin. Uh, but this is one that is a little less um, a little less hit or miss. But um, if you go through team by team, you can find ones that are selling way under. I get some good deals the same way. These, when you set them to auction, I don't know if I'm actually going to find any. Um, here we go. So here we got one for 45 where the next lowest is selling for 7 So I'll take the risk on that. So I'm going to put the bangles out. For seven, it'll still be the lowest quality one. I'll make about two and a half thousand. So we'll go ahead and we'll put this up. I mean, I could really sometimes I'll go a, a, a number lower and be six nine. It's essentially seven, but it just looks like a better deal. But when I do this, I'm going to set it for eight hours because at one hour people don't look at stadiums that quickly. Um, so that'll probably sell. Um, oh, I got the Cowboys defense. I think I, well, that was a couple hundred again. Um, so we'll sell that for like. Two. I don't know if I was even recording when I placed that bid. That was a uh, that was a one that was about to expire. So we'll sell it for like two five. But I think I spent like a couple hundred for that. Uh, but like I said, Cowboys playbooks don't really make a whole lot anyway. But um, that's still two thousand. So we'll still go team to team here, looking for ones out of place. Like I said, these are ones not a lot of people do these. Um, so that's what makes it so uh, easy to do is because people, like I said, that's the point of this video. These are methods that people are not doing, and that way it makes it easy for the people that are doing to make really good coins. So I'm just going to do a couple more things. I'm not going to do this one too long uh, because, like I said, I don't find this one is as successful. 
uh, as the first one I showed you, maybe some of the ones I'll show you here in the future. But you can see how the you know this, the one playbook alone I bought I could make about two grand off of. Um, this is like definitely next on my list of stuff to do after I do my playbooks. So now that I went through stadiums, another one to go through is uh, uniforms. Another one that people don't really pay attention to. Right here, right off the bat, we got the Saints here. I could try to buy that and flip that. Once again, a little bit of a risk. They're selling for about five or more. Um, but, you know, I, I could do that one if I wanted to. I'm not going to do that, though. Here's one I will do. This is a much cheaper option. 1,500 coins. I'll sell that for double. Sell it for three. And I'll still have the lowest uh, uniform price. So once again, I'm just doubling my coins here real quick. Takes seconds to do. Uh, you gotta wait to get your money back though. Like I said, I'll set that for eight hours. And I already sold some playbook. I'm not sure which one. Two playbooks, look at that. See, like I said, the, the playbooks will sell fast. All this stuff will typically sell fast. Uh, with the exception of the ones that are set for like eight hours. Because these don't sell as quickly as playbooks will sell. So let's just see if we can get a couple more. I could buy, if I wanted to, here's a trick. I could buy both of these and try to sell them both for around three, five. Um, because I basically are going to reset the market at that point, but I'm not going to do that. Like I said, I don't want to take too much risk. I don't have a lot of coins to waste if I end up buying something and then the prices drop because I can't sell them. I want to buy these and sell them right away, uh, which is really the best way to go. Um, just trying to go through here, see if I can find another good deal on the uniforms. Here's one, uh, 1,200. I'll, I'll take that. Just got put up, so I'll snatch that up. Um, I'll put that, I'll flip that for, you know, I'll, I'll make this the lowest one and still double my coins at 2500 So this whole video, like I said, I've only been doing this for about 10 minutes. You can see the potential of it. Obviously, they still got to sell. Some are already selling, as you saw. But um, this is definitely, uh, the potential for this is really good. So now that's that's another one. So we went through already coaches, playbooks, uniforms, and stadiums. And uh, they're all, obviously, I think the, the playbooks was the best. I didn't find any coaches, but I didn't go team to team. So continuing the veins of uh, methods that people are not doing, let's reset everything here. Now I'm gonna do um, a technique which is basically, you know, I'm, I'm going through positions and, and spots like that where people aren't really thinking about them. Another really good one that uh, you could go through is quality, set it to gold, and then I'm gonna set it to buy now price. And then I'm going to go to uh, type and I'm going to go to kickers and punters. Now, this is something that, um, you know, a lot of people aren't really paying attention to kickers and punters. Uh, they're still selling really good because obviously, uh, you know, you need a kicker to get through a lot of the, the solos and stuff like that. Uh, plus, they're just an important position on the team that not a lot of people think about. So now I do the same thing. I would go team to team. Um, just try to find not every team has a goal kicker so you might get not get anything uh, pop up when you go through here um, but like I said kickers and punters are really good uh, you know thing that you can find cheap sometimes people just think they're getting rid of a guy and then you, they don't really realize what the value of the guy is <laughs> you know what I mean like this video here I don't want this video to go too long uh, but that's it so if you guys want to see more uh, coin making methods more updates on my team more mutt tips uh, etc do me a favor hit the like button or let me know in the comment section and that's it thanks for watching man Moy shit out